Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And in this video we are going to take a look at cutting materials with the Orter Laser Master and well this is the 15 watt version which has an actual output power of 4.5 watts. Now what you are seeing here is my Orter Laser Master which is cutting at 60% of its power at 700 millimeters per second uh, and well as you can see here the laser is very very well capable of uh, cutting into plywood. The material used is a plywood which is soft plywood. There is also a hard version of plywood but this is the soft version and uh, well I have to say it's very nice material uh, as you can engrave it or cut it uh, and especially you can cut it when you use multiple passes. Now for the thing that I'm cutting right now, which is a phone stand, I'm cutting in seven passes. So in seven passes I will be, well, completely through the material. Now as you can see here, uh, the machine is running quite fast and well this is true, the machine is really running quite fast and this is because if you go slower you will get burn marks all over your object and uh, you can of course lower the laser power but well it's really not needed so at this moment when it's working at 60% of its laser power uh, well it's really yeah it's making a beautiful cut now um, when you are cutting with this laser you will see that after two passes you will be already uh, yeah, penetrating the material that you are cutting but not all the, uh, all the way you will see that some points uh, will be cut through and through while on other places you are not really cutting and there is also a difference for uh, running over the x-axis or running over the y-axis now and as you can see over here uh, well this laser is really powerful and you can see the wood burning everywhere where it touches. Now it really is a dangerous laser and I urge you to, yeah, to really wear your safety goggles uh, or even better uh, not take a look at the laser at all while it's working. Because as you can see how capable it is of burning wood it's also that capable of burning your eyeballs or well even worse. So what you see here is the laser that gives a sharp point and well you can see the flames coming right off the wood and you can also see the glowing of the wood right after the laser has touched it. So yeah really you have to be careful with this laser but it's also a lot of fun to cut with this laser and as you can see I placed my object uh, on a glass plate and uh, well it's it's going up and down a little bit but I don't really see this as a problem uh, the reason I did this is then I can see if it's cutting true and true now here you can see my computer which is running laser gerbil uh, and there is also the second pair of glasses of course I am wearing glasses at the same time uh, so I've got multiple pairs of glasses because well sometimes people come and visit me and take a look now here we've got the laser uh, yeah the, the, the complete uh, stand and uh, well we have to cut out some parts now uh, so uh, or, or uh, d yeah, press out some parts so that we can uh, make the 3D object out of this wood. Now as you can see when I uh, uh, got the object from the table already all the parts were falling out and well this is because everything is cut true and true but it's not really burnt so uh, as you can see uh, there are darker places and more light places but also on the darker places this is only the surface and uh, it's not really burnt true and true so uh, now we have those uh, shapes in here 
uh, we are capable of bending the wood and I have to find the yeah you know, the most correct way to to do this bending uh, it's for me the first time I do a thing like this and well as you can see it's it's coming up and uh, it's coming up very nice. I, I say it's the first time. It's not really true. I once did this before uh, with uh, the same object, but then uh, cut with my NJ uh, Master uh, NJ Master Twenty, but that wasn't not nearly as good as this one. Uh, the object made with my NJ Master was really uh, looking very burned, and this one. Well, it's really very, very nice. I think that one thing that you can do is maybe give it a, yeah, a light sanding with some sandpaper uh, just to get the, yeah, the, the, the burn marks off the wood. And uh, it would be a very light sanding if you do so. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lift the bottom part uh, so that I can put the spacers that are all also cut out of the wood. And uh, well, when the spacers are placed, then uh, well, this thing is good enough for uh, placing my phone in it. So as you can see, one spacer is already placed. Now I have to place the other one. And uh, well, everything is very light, of course. So uh, it's a bit difficult, but not really. And then, uh, well, when everything is connected and uh, everything is bent the way it should be, then of course I can pick out my phone and uh, put my phone in this stand. So here it is, and I think, well, it's quite nice. So let's take a look how this, well, how this really looks. By the way, I got this fra uh, file from Thingiverse, so it, it was an object that I found on Thingiverse, uh, downloaded it, and then uh, it was an SVG file, so I could uh, directly get it into my laser cutter. And here you can see my phone in the stand, and well, it works. It's kind of nice to see how it works, and uh, yeah, well, I think I like this very much. It's a very nice cut, and uh, well, I hope you think the same way too. So if you like this video, then please uh, give it a like, also subscribe to my channel, and make sure you will see my other videos. Bye bye.